Hi, this will be a continuation of our uh, component video using uh, Swift and Xcode. And um, in the last few, well, it's kind of a long series, but anyway, in, in the last few videos, we made this component and it kind of looks like this. And what I thought I'd do here is just point out like some some little extra features and things that, that I missed in the previous videos. Um, one of the things that I came across, and I'll just have to admit that I actually made a mistake as I was creating this. Um, I'm calling layout subviews to update my view. And we're really only calling it when you change this, these variables here. But uh, you know what I was doing is I was, I was looking through the documentation. Let's go, let's look up uh, layout subviews, right? So I'll just Google that. Here's the Apple documentation here. I'll zoom in on it a little bit here. And so I was just reading more about this just to figure it out. You know, I mean, you, if you're going to use these tools, you might as well, you know, read the documentation. And, uh, you know, it says layout subviews as a function. And then it says, you know, um, you're going to implement this method. You know, it doesn't work on iOS or it only works on iOS 5 and 5.1 and later. It doesn't work on earlier systems. And then it says, you know, you're going to override this method to perform some precise layout of your subviews. Um, you know, um, you know, and this is used like if if constraints are applied to your view and it changes the size of your view, then you want to, um, you know, call this method to to redraw the the views that you know that are inside your view that your subview, so to speak, right? So, you know, I was reading this and then I got to this last par paragraph here and it says you should not call this method directly. Oops, you know, I'm calling it directly, and then it says if you want to force a layout update, call set needs layout instead, right? And then it says if you want to update the layout of your views immediately, call layout if needed, right? So um, we should really swap out our, uh, you know, layout subviews for set needs layout, and then we'd be sort of in compliance here with the uh, the documentation, right? So that's what you learn when you read the documentation. You actually learn how things work and the correct way to apply them. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in uh, uh, set needs layout. There we go, right? So I'll do that. I'll change all these actually to set needs layout, okay? And I, th I think the idea here is that secretly behind the scenes, um, view knows when it needs to update its layout. And it knows when you call this method. This method sets a flag, which is, you know, just a variable or some, some little switch inside the view that tells the view, you know, hey, next time it's convenient and next time it's most, you know, efficient, redraw yourself. And the reason we would do this instead of calling on the method directly is you might end up calling the method once or twice before the screen actually even drew the, 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 the view, right? And if you did that, that would be inefficient. So, so this is sort of a probably um, put in there to, to you know, make, make drawing the views more efficient. So you know, if we were calling the set needs layout from several different places, um, our view would coordinate that so that it would just do the update when it was most advantageous. Right. So anyway, so we'll we'll add that feature. Um, another question came up about um, drawing the circle here, and someone asked me a question, and they said, um, you know, like how can we get the circle to draw from the top and then do a complete circle? Because my circle is is starting here and then going around to there. But what if we wanted to start here and end here? Now, if you recall, um, our circle is drawn right here, right? So this is in the um, the setup method, right? And here I'm defining the um, the start and the end angle for our, our arc that we're going to draw, okay? And what I did is I, I just kind of used some math here and I said, you know, normally our, our starting point is actually going to be here on the right side, right where I have the cursor there. And then it's going to continue around like this, okay? So it's going to start here. This is normally where the computer is going to start drawing. So it's going to start here and it's going to go around. So I said, well, why don't we start at 3 eighths? 
right? So that's going to be, you know, one eighth um, or one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, right? So if we divided this into eight pieces this would, and this was zero, this would be one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, right? And then we want to go around to nine eighths. So this would be, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine eighths, right? So there's our, our nine eighths right there. Okay, so so how do we get it to start at the top here? Well, we go one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five, six eighths. Hmm. So we could start here at six eighths, right? And then that's gonna redraw over here in a moment, and it looks a little weird, right? So it's gonna start at six eighths and then end at at nine eighths. Well, that doesn't work, right? So now we need to end at um, what would it be? I, I wonder if I didn't try this earlier. I did this a little differently. Um, I ended at six eighths, right? And this actually doesn't um, work, right? Because, you know, we're starting and ending at the same point. So there's no distance between these. So what I did was um, I, to make this work out is I just subtracted, you know, a tiny smidgen, right? So now it goes all the way around to almost the end and you can't quite see the distance it's just a little too small you might even what if we even make that one more circle i don't know if that will even make a difference right but you know it just goes so close to the end like you can't see it but anyway that that would work there too so you could try that um i didn't actually test it in the simulator but I, i'm assuming that that would work right so there you go now if you want to draw your circle from the top all the way around you know that actually looks kind of nice um you could do this right and that actually, actually, I almost like that better. So anyway, so there's just a couple notes for you on, um, you know, just to pick up a couple ideas here. And I hope that that is, is, is helpful to you. Thanks for watching.